Hi guys, you're probably wondering, what is up with this video? You know, this crazy fun video. Here's the deal. Basically, I want to free up our time during our Zoom meetings so we can talk about the art that we're making, we can share ideas, we can actually have a little bit of time for critique. So these videos are here to kind of give you information about the projects and also give you um, a little bit more insight on, on ways to be more successful as you move forward creating these, these different works of art. Okay guys, as you know, we have two assignments that are due at the end of this week, um, April 17th. They're due at the end of the day. The first place we're going to is Detroit. And this is an example of, of the artwork that you can create for your, um, your project dealing with Detroit. Detroit had a, uh, a huge financial collapse and a lot of people moved out of the city and basically what happened is the people who were there started creating these art projects together. The Heidelberg project is a great example of that. And I was looking at the Heidelberg project and some of the other community projects that the people of Detroit did, and they did a lot of things that dealt with recycling, taking things and repurposing them, um, making them special when they might not have seemed special at first. And they did this to help bring the sense of community and also to kind of rejuvenate their environment that they were in and make it something that is uh, uniquely their own. And um, they helped bring Detroit out of, of a horrible decline. And if you look at the piece that I've made here, it's completely made out of cardboard and newspaper, okay? There's some paint and glue and stuff like that, but mostly it's, it's cardboard and newspaper. The newspaper is all from the New York Times Fine Arts section. Okay, I, and I did that uh, specifically because I wanted to create this idea of the new materials that I use creating this in internal poetry within the piece itself. Um, I think that's very important. It kind of gives little clues to the, uh, the, the viewer, the person looking at the artwork, of what the intent was of the artist. So it says, spin the globe and pick a spot, okay? And that was kind of a little catchphrase I thought would be fun to do for these projects as we move forward and go around the planet and look at different communities. Let me pick this up and show you the back of this. It's really just cardboard and oh, there's some tape and some styrofoam stuff to hold it in place. It's all, like I said, made out of things that were kind of thrown away or recycled. You can look at a lot of the links that I'm, I have sent you and get some ideas from that. It would be great if you've worked with your family on this, if you had the sense of collaboration. It'd be fantastic if you did that because these artworks in particular have a sense of collaboration to them. Let's see what the community is like in your home. So let's, you know, invite some people in your house to help out with this and let's see what y'all can do. I bet it's going to be amazing. Thanks a lot. Hi guys, our next stop is Houston, Texas, and we're gonna to go to the wonderful Project Grow House. Um, Project Grow House is all about creating a sense of community and identity within the third ward section of Houston, Texas. And um, they do it through these collaborative art projects and lots of other things. I mean, it's amazing what they do. It's, it's basically a, a row of these houses that they've repurposed to create this um, environment where people can be, express themselves, um, talk about um, the difficulties they might have within the community, and, and do it in a way that is positive and expressive. And I really like that about uh, Project Row Houses. They're giving people a voice. Um, let me read you a little bit about Project Row House, or PRH. Programs, PRH programs touch the lives of under-resourced neighbors, young single mothers with the ambition of a better life for themselves and their children, small enterprises with the drive to take their businesses to the next level, and artists interested in using their talents to understand and enrich the lives of others. You know, that's exactly what we are um, looking to explore around the world, places like Project Row House. And we are going to be answering some questions and looking at a video about Project Row House. And then we're also going to, um, to talk about what kind of service projects would you envision yourself doing? 
where you could help your community. You know, your community that you're in, or a specific community that you can imagine helping uh, somewhere in the world. What kind of art project would you create to really engage that community and give it a sense of, of purpose, uh, a voice where it might not have had one? You just have to sketch out these ideas a little bit and also just you know write a, a short description about what it would um, entail to create this project. All the information is on Blackboard. There's a lot more detail there. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I'm always willing to um, to discuss you know ideas and hopefully inspire you guys to really make something that is uh, special and meaningful to you and to uh, <laughs> to uh, um, uh, to everyone who looks at your artwork because that's really what my uh, end goal is: is to create artwork that 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 you're just proud of and that you can feel the sense of accomplishment after you, you've created it. Um, we're going to continue doing, uh, doing these videos throughout the semester and hopefully they'll, they'll add to the richness of these classes. All right, take care. Bye-bye.